hello friends so in this video we will be continuing the derivations for width of secondary maximum or minimum for a Fraunhofer diffraction this is already this diagram you know I have already drawn this diagram this is just the first smaller version of it to remind you of it so first we will derive for secondary minimum so first we will be deriving for minimum so let me tell you this if xn that you can see xn equal to o dash p let us consider this let so we know this is as xn if xn is the distance of the nth minimum from the center of the screen so let xn be the distance of the nth minimum from the center of the screen that is let this distance be xn and let d be the distance between the slit and the screen then therefore we can say that sine of theta n will be equal to x of n by d we can derive this mathematically this is xn and this distance is d therefore sine of theta n will be xn by d for very near position of lens l2 and the slit or for the very large separation between the screen and the lens so the large separation should there be between screen and lens and small separation for lens and slit again we know that we know from previous derivations sine of theta n is equal to n lambda by small d where d is the width of the slit therefore we can write xn by capital d equal to n lambda by small d which implies that we can conclude this formula as x of n equal to n capital D lambda by small d so we need to remember this formula for x of n in that situation d equal to f or d that is capital D similar to f that is focal length focal length of lens L2 hence we can write from equation the width let the width be beta of the two consecutive minima so let the width of two consecutive minima beta by consecutive we mean of x of n and x of n plus 1 so let the width between the xn and x n plus 1 points in the screen be beta so we can write beta equal to x of n plus 1 minus x of n that is equal to n plus 1 into capital D lambda by small d minus n capital D lambda by small d therefore we can also conclude 
this formula to be beta equal to that is the width equal to capital D lambda by small d. Here these two formula are very important from the examination point of view. Now let us derive for maximum or maxima. If we consider x of n dash be the distance between it is the distance between nth maxima from the central maxima so we can say sine of theta n is equal to 2n plus 1 multiplied by lambda by 2d or this I think you can understand from the previous derivations or we can write x and dash by capital D be equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2d which implies that x and dash is equal to 2n plus 1 into capital D into lambda by 2d so we have this formula after deriving of for x n dash similarly if x n dash and x n plus 1 dash are the positions of nth and n plus 1th order of maxima from the central fringe that we have already discussed for the minima then the width of the secondary maximum let it be beta dash will be equal to x of n plus 1 dash minus x of n dash that is equal to capital D into lambda by 2 into small d into 2n plus 2 plus 1 minus capital D into lambda by 2d into 2n plus 1 therefore we can find the formula for beta dash equal to 2 capital D lambda by 2 into small d my, that is equal to d lambda by small d therefore we can write the two formula like this we have found x n dash to be equal to 2n plus 1 into capital D lambda by 2d and beta dash to be capital D lambda by small d so we have seen that the width of the secondary maximum is same as the that of width of secondary minimum therefore we can conclude that beta will be equal to beta dash that is width of secondary minimum will be equal to width of secondary maximum now let us consider for central maximum for central maximum so we know that the central maximum extends up to a distance of first order minima on both sides of the center of the screen that is from the central maximum that is previously I have drawn the graph as you all remember so this is the width of the central maxima up to the center of secondary minima on both sides therefore if we consider the width to be beta naught we can find that beta naught is equal to 2 into x1 where n equal to 1 since we are considering only the first minima that is equal to 2 into capital D lambda by small d 
we can conclude this formula after derivation therefore we can say beta naught will be equal to 2 into beta that is the width of the central maximum will be equal to the 2 into width of the secondary minimum now we also know that sin theta n equal to n lambda by small d where you can see d greater than lambda so sin theta will be greater than 1 which is never possible sin theta can never be greater than 1 since the maximum value of sin theta is 1 therefore this consideration here I have done is wrong so the diffraction pattern can not be seen if slit width is less than the wavelength of light therefore slit width slit width must be greater than slit width must be greater than lambda that is the wavelength of light so friends remember this is the very vital point and we have derived the formula so friends with this derivation we have come to the end of this video and also to the all the derivations regarding front of a diffraction for a single slit in the next video we will start with front of a diffraction for a double slit thank you